Nazi Germany, the final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command for one reason, to retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. This was meant to be our first and only mission. Look at that. Hell of a world. Who's up for saving it? До свидания. Let's go. Shooter. your uncle. Fuck me dead. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? That submarine base is our final stop. Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but he won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the bricks. All we have is a name. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holiest of holies. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? They did. The six of us. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Brass handpicked six specialists to hit the craft fast and get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. We must be close. Not for long. Krauts are moving their stash onto a sub. You see that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick. That is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait. We can't go in loud. Arthur? Whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich. And the Krauts kept them here. In the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah, that's why we brought the guns, to shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three, take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Web, go back to the Arthur, the sirens have stopped. That can't be good. We've got to move. Now, Novak, help me.
How delightful you are. You think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So... Oh. You know better than to ruin a man's evening. Beethoven's fourth sonata has exquisite but demanding passages that deserve my full attention. Unlike you. Does the Negro give orders in English too? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! <laughs> 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 Please, proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us, thrashing you again. Thrashing. <laughs> thrashing. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself to be a, a leader. <laughs> I am not here to give you what you want. Quite a contrary. Dispose of that. Put the rest in the truck. Fucking savage! Get your hands off me, son! Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. That bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes. Let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. <laughs> Nasze ego się ponieść nie postradamo. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind Forget of Forget Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men, to have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. All right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. 
But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trained you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by! Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we have till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle or no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. you two scrapping over who's got the bigger bollocks and could have solved nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. Gunford. Richard said I'd gone mad. Sometimes a little madness is called for. I think deep down he understood that and realized we were cut from the same cloth. How's it looking, Sergeant? Let's see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in. But it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. And I think you should go first. <laughs> Alright then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get
Get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up. <coughs> Where the hell have you been? Funny time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could, by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Al Hitler. Mm. Fuhrer Richter and... Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we gonna wait bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat, the perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. Tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the supersternal notch, below the clavicle. 
Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. We must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. <clears throat> Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission, that his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. Are there other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herr Richter. I understand. Thank you. So. Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. That's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drunk guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Apolia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. Now it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. Wasted. Stuck in the med tent. But, 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 stop. Don't be in a rush to find dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you are dead. 
But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. Misha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our comrades already know how to drink. This will be Molotovs. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Papasha, you worry too much. No, it's not Oh, sister, that hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Pigushka. Kazyol. Shaba. both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit! Now there, isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papa. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No. You told me that's not what I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the map. At least you get to fight! Oh, don't tell me at least, you! Fight it! You're both doing your part. Which reminds me... If any of those Ublutki get past you... You know where to send them. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> They will never get through. Never. Flynn! I need to run. They're waiting Wait, for me! Miss, you're... Fox. I swear, he would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. We'll need you down by the first tent. Plenty of men that you're catching up with. Go ahead, join the others.
should have been here for Basha. <coughs> I'm off to save Misha, as usual. Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping, even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives, burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. And that had made her the deadliest member of my team. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret allied operation? You do not scare me. Little mouse. <laughs> you misunderstand me, Fräulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? <laughs> Because I am a woman. You're not very good at this, are you? Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. <laughs> So, what is worth talking about, Fräulein? Rising. Go fetch him. We'll confirm my story together. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And wait. Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? An American, arrested at Tempelhof, trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. Prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you.
trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. When we get out of here, the first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See Les Trois Mousquetaires. Let Edith Mera break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Me? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. All cakes, all the time. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints of my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly where I need to be. Wade showed up just as I'd hoped. He played his part well without even knowing my plan. The team had written him off, but I was counting on him being his usual charming self. <laughs> Try that again, Crowd. And we're gonna have a real fucking problem. Your team lied about you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, now, is that so hard? Finally, some respect. I know you are the sixth man. What did you want with that plane? <laughs> you Nazis. You make me miss fighting in the stinking Pacific. <laughs> I want to know what else they've lied about! Wade had talked himself out of worse situations. If you heard him talk about Midway, you could tell he was no stranger to hyperbole. Every time Wade told the story, it was a little different. He added a wing of Zeros or another aircraft carrier to his tally. But I read the reports about what happened that day. If Wade was exaggerated, it was only by a little. his contradiction. He is one of the war's greatest pilots, but he needed a team. The problem was getting him to admit it. Thank <laughs> you. 
your hands off me! Feisinger, this is treachery! It's treachery of the highest order! Feisinger! You haven't heard the last of this! Get your hands off me! Feisinger! What is going on? Hitler is dead. What? How? Who is it, the Allies? Reports indicate he took his own life. But without the Fuhrer, we are lost. Hardly. I trust you have new information. As you suspected, the American was the sixth man. But I believe I have finally broken them. It saddens me to see the fatherland defied by filthy Russians, no less. There's nothing left for us here. If the Reich is to live on, I must know their safe passage to Tempelhof. I was counting on you, Richter. But you've proven non-essential. No, 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 sir, no. I will get you what you require. I swear. To. Your time is short. I understand. Mein Führer? I'm gonna kill him. Rector is on to us. We're out of time. I, uh... I tried to nab us a getaway plane, but that didn't work. And by the time I got here, you, you guys were already locked up. So I, uh, I borrowed a bomb from the Ruskies and turned myself in. We got about, uh, about an hour before that wall blows wide open and we waltz right out of here. If we live that long? I can't trust him. He's just a fucking pilot. A fucking ace pilot is what you mean. I'm with the lady. What the hell do you know about explosives? Yeah? Well, fuck you too, then. I'll tell you why we can trust him. Here we go. Wade's more than capable of getting us out. Files in hand. thing in the skies but if you fly too close to the sun eventually your wings will get burnt
stupid son of a bitch! You could have gotten us both. Oh, All right. Okay. I'll get you out of here, but it's gonna hurt like hell. Hey, go on. When you're gonna get it through that thick skull of yours, you can't just. Hey, 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 Wade. Wade, you stay with me. Wade, come on, man. No, you're not. Wake up. Wake up. Wade. Nah, -uh. nah, -uh. today's not the day. I need to find out where we are, so I'm gonna have to leave you here. Think about the Yankees. What? You know I'm a doctor. You son of a bitch! Your bedside manner sucks! You're welcome, Pendejo. I need your gun. I lost mine in the crash. The one you caused. What am I supposed to do? Keep yourself bandaged up. I don't want you bleeding out and missing all the fun. Stay out of sight till I get back. いや、まだ時間はあるぞ。兵兵どもがここに来るまでしばらくかかる。Still alive. Yeah, no shit. Cut them free. I'm aviation machinist mate, third class Hernandez. The ungrateful one's Lieutenant Jackson. We got shot down. That's why we're here. Thanks. Sergeant James Washington, Army, 93rd Infantry Division. Lenny, patch this man up. You got any planes? We need to get back up there. Planes? We lucky they gave us ammo. That one's dead weight. Just gonna slow us down. I'm right here. You know how to use a gun? Went through basic just like you. Sorry, we got company. I got control of the stick now, Lieutenant. You're just a man for the ride. Won't be needing this anymore. Show us what you can do, Lieutenant. All right. Let's see. Do we have enough runway? Yeah. More or less. I should have known you'd say that. Here we go.
men of the 93rd changed Wade. They showed the flying daredevil from the clouds what war looked like in the dirt. Down there, he learned the only way to win was to have each other's backs. If you get past this talk and you see his actions, you will know who Wade Jackson really is. I don't care what he did before. Wade abandoned us in Hamburg. I still don't trust him. I get it. But we're not in this shithole because of him. We're in this shithole because some sodding Krauss think they can crack the best team I've ever worked with. Now, we need a plan to get us out of here. We're surrounded by Nazis. Even if we escape, we're gonna be dead before we reach the door. Maybe not. What an idea. We were gonna put on a show for Richter. It was a gamble, but we'd come too far to give up on getting those files. Polina being next gave us time to get ready. We knew she'd hold her own. Nice to see you again, Fallen. Please. Please. This is exactly what I imagined your weird little office would look like. Tell me what your team is planning. Lady Nightingale. Stalingrad, the city that arrested the Nazis' eastern expansion. Had the city fallen, Russia would have crumbled. The Germans underestimated Russia's will to survive. They underestimated the city and her defenders. The people looked to Polina as a symbol of hope, but she didn't want to be a hero. She wanted only vengeance. of the Third Reich was to think they could achieve what the great Napoleon could not. Perhaps if they weren't facing someone as fierce as Lady Nightingale. There. We heard Steiner's been creeping around the commercial district. Makes sense. He's never far from the slaughter. So much. Let's go. Now wait, wait. We should see who they are so we can let their families know. Knife. Short! That's a sniper shot. Precise. What, what, you think that's They still... might be. Okay. There's more cover this way. Come on. We can't strike from here. There's too many of them. Take a look. Shit. Steiner. There, on the right. Bastard. He might be Steiner's superior. Sniper, get down! <laughs> you okay? Misha! It's not as bad as it looks. Just hold still and let me check. That doesn't sound good. It's not. We don't have time for this, it's Roja. You hear me? I need to get you somewhere safe to patch you up. You're not going to die here. Misha! Where? Where? Stupid. Don't let him. 
Stay. This knife isn't going to get us out of here. Look, we need to... Finish. Please, for all of us. No, you're delirious. Come on, we have to move. Valina, go! No! You cover the opening. I go out and flank them. There is no blood. Go. I will slow them now. This time, little bird. We'll destroy you all. You won't be doing anything. Not me. Is this knife? <laughs> I could help you. Incredible. You're all the same. I've killed more of you than I can count. And you all spout the same pathetic bullshit. Is he supposed to scare me? Another piece of fascist filth. Don't worry. I'll hunt him down next. You thought you'd take my city and crush my people. You tried to break me, but you failed. You created Lady Nightingale. And now, she's destroyed you. Infamous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. Polina changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters a great deal to me, Fraulein.
Nice letter. From what I could gather, Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project. Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is... I was sent to kill Freisinger. There's got to be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course... You have decided to do the intelligent thing. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. Break this up. I can't. I ain't gonna be the next sacrifice in your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Break a leg, Lucas. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda. You killing each other now, are you? Zuluk! Zuluk! from a Negro either. <laughs> you got it all wrong, mate. No, don't follow. I don't care what color his skin is. Haven't you heard about the Aussies and the Brits? We were the pieces of shit flushed down the crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. It was more like master servant. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Today, princess? I'm savoring the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course you are, your highness. Hey, Bluey, wake up. You're going to want to see this one. Oh, fuck me. Play the damn cards. <laughs> All right, Des. Read them and weep. Oh, you... Fucking donkey! No way! Why the bloody hell aren't you at your post? Uh, Major Hems, we thought... We thought you'd muck around. Major, convoy's approaching. Right. You rats, follow me. Try and act like real soldiers for once. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Three... See? That's what a real soldier looks like, mate. <laughs> oh, what a way to stand up to him, Bluey. <sighs> Good job, buddy. Fuck off, Dez. What's he even doing here in the first place, huh? Hey. 
on the coast of Italian Libya, an Australian private and a group of rats had given Rommel a huge black eye. Their action should have earned them medals and maybe even a shred of respect. Pams didn't see it that way. Their reward was some time in the brig. However, all Richter seemed to care about was Rommel and his connection to Freisinger. That fool would listen to Lucas as long as we needed him to. the rest? We have very little time. Tell me, what did Freisinger want with Rommel? I thought you wanted to know about our team. Answer me now or our deal is off. Okay, okay. Don't get your undies in a twist. Lucas piled it on like a chap. He didn't have to tell Richter anything more than the lies that Nazi already told himself. That was the Third Reich for you. Their reality was delusion. You'd think we'd need a miracle for Lucas to pull this off. The thing is, he was like a magnet for that kind of luck. There's that saying about lightning striking twice, yet Lucas had managed to find himself first at Tobruk and then at El Alamein. The world knew of an Allied victory in North Africa, but it wasn't because of British commanders or mighty tanks. Lucas had the untold story, and Richter was eating. Sometimes, the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. That's what I told Lucas when we first met. War had taught us both that lesson. The rigid hierarchy of Allied command would look at Lucas and see only character flaws. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. He was perfect for my team. Even if he does have a mean right hook. Lucas played his role perfectly. He had Richter distracted and doubting everything he thought he knew. Are you all right, mate? You, you're looking a little bit pastier than usual. Please. This was... This was... Never about winning the war. This was never about winning the war. This... was a coup. This was a coup. Temple off. That's how he's getting them out. Taking the Reich underground. Wait a minute. You're not part of the plan, are you? Well, it looks like we're both going to end up on that meat pile back there. One thing I learned studying Allied strategy. Redundancy. Always have a plan B. With the Soviets invading the city, Lady Nightingale will be my leverage. I will exchange her for my own safe passage. Well, that's one hell of a plan, Fritz. It probably would have worked. No, 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 please. I will let you go. <laughs> you made one mistake, but it was a bloody ripper. <laughs> you thought you cracked us. Redundancy, mate. Always have a plan B. Oh, 
just received word. We have safe passage from Berlin. Three years we have waited for this moment. Many good men were lost. Rommel, Steiner, Hitzel. But I promised you, Project Phoenix would succeed. Hitler has paid for his weakness. And now history will remember him as we do. A failure and a coward. The Red Army is nearly upon us. <laughs> and Berlin is burning. But from the ashes shall rise our vision for something greater. the Fourth Reich. Hey, boss! Your plan worked! Hey there, buddy. Remember me? Looks like you got a fan. What do we do with them? I can think of a few things. <laughs> Figured you'd want the honest boss. No! No! This is your chance. Project Phoenix! I can get you the evidence! Shh. You've already done your part. <laughs> right of the suprasternal notch. Below the clavicle. <laughs> That's for Richard. First transport be home in time for supper. Or we can end this. Hunt down Freisinger, bury the Reich for good. We might not make it out of Berlin, but neither will the Nazis. Whatever we do, though, we do it together. Freisinger is not leaving Berlin. Surprise me, Lemmingtons can wait. Wait? Hey, it's not every day you get a chance to kill a Fuhrer. You can't turn that shit down, right? <laughs> After you, Lady Nightingale. Just so you know, I still haven't ruled out killing you all. It's over. <laughs> You cannot kill me! And yet here we are. And even the Allies would leave their decision to inferiors such as yourself. We need him alive, boss. The intel he's got's what we came for. Hey, shoot him or bring him. I'm starting this plane. He'll never talk. Get up! Your nations will make sure I'm well taken care of. As payment for my cooperation. A peaceful new beginning. The life of American luxury. It might suit me. Perhaps I might even start a new family. 
Not for you. There is no starting over. This is your new beginning. Fascistkaya Svenja. You even know who I am! The value I can provide! You're not worth it. Suppose that's it then. Let's get out of here. How are we looking out there? It's gonna be dicey. Just how I like it. Hi, we're back in business. That's it. Let's take a look. The Cape Verde Islands, the Bahamas, Argentina. Even Antarctica. Christ. These bastards have been plotting covert operations all over the world. Right under our noses. Are you lot? Give this a gander. We hit the bloody jackpot. <laughs> Come on, dig in. How about this? Project Nova. I can beat it. Project Ether. Reviving the dead. <laughs> Does anyone want some Nazi gold? Looks like we're gonna be busy. Keep going. Open them all. Here you are. I was about to try this autopilot and come back. <laughs> What's Project Aggregate? Secret V2 rocket facility. <laughs> you think you could fly one of those? Ha! I could fly anything. Hang on back there! Fucking wait. <laughs> Our mission was complete. But there'd be more. Forged in the fires, we were the tip of the spear. We were the vanguard.